Right guys, Mark Crossfield here. Hello, we've got Steve Buzzer. Hello Steve, PGA professional Steve. He's a coach here as well as I am. We are gonna give some more guys from my golf app some swing help, Stephen. We're gonna help. We're gonna help out the world. <laughs> Make it a better place. <laughs> da, 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 da. Is that copyright? Am I allowed to sing songs? Let's get stuck Let's in. Let's get, we've got stuck in. Okay, that's my line. Let's get stuck in. Right, another swing sent through the golf app. It's a different app. <laughs> I'm going to use that little snippet in that video as, a, as an advert for my apps. So this is the golf app where people hit the button at the bottom, they send their swings. This guy sent his swing. Um, let's have a look at it. Steve, what do we see? We see the club going back. So what people part. would see is quite see twisted. all the time. Yeah, absolutely. So we can see we've got the back view. Yeah, you can see his right hand grip is funky, isn't it? It's under. So what it does... It turns that club down to the ground, which people would call closed. Of course, yeah, because if you think if I bring it back, it's going to get the club pointing left or expecting one. Subject to, to what torques he used, though, Steve. Yes. Yes, which we'll talk about. Okay, so then he goes on from there. What does his club path look like as he comes down? It looks pretty neutral. Looks pretty straight. What does the ball flight look like? Low. Looks very low, doesn't it? I mean, we haven't got the GC2 HMT data or launch monitor data from this guy, but from what we see in our experience of teaching people with issues like this, let's presume he struggles from lowish drives. Yes. If he came for a lesson and he hit the ball really straight, and didn't worry about how low his shot went, and didn't worry about the, or, or saw it as a problem, then this guy's swing looks okay. It does, isn't it? If he struck the ball out in the middle each time and it went quite straight, it looks quite straight on the video, the shot he's hit. And he, he's uh, doing, like I say, we get a lot of these come through the range. He's making a movement here, holding it up. So I said that this position, you would assume it would make it go left. Yeah, yeah. He's actually found a way to get it to go relatively straight. Absolutely. Well, let's see if we can. We've got GC2 HMT on. We've got the club dotted up. People often ask, what's the dots for on my club? It's so the machine can read the club and see where the club is coming through impact. So we're going to hit a couple of shots, how this guy's hitting. Now, we're going to try and get a straight path. Yes. Okay. So the only objective here is you need to have his grip, yeah. You need to try and let the face twist the way his face twists on the way back. But then you must try and hit with a straight path with your club. And you want to try and zero out the face to that path as much as you can as well. Because his ball looks like it goes quite straight. And then just see what happens, and we'll explain what happens to the loft. Go for it, Steve. We're running. We're on. Let's see one. Let's see what you got. Here we go. Strong grip. Right hand well under the club. Oh, snippy left. You struggle with this one. You get the low one, but that's going left. So if we look at your club data there. Yeah, I mean, you've swung pretty straight on that one. 1 1.9 into out, and the face was six close to the path, so eight close in total. So your strong grip and his strong grip has twisted the face, what we would call closed or pointing left at impact. Um, it doesn't have to, though, because it's obviously opening on the way back. So as you come down, if you were to twist the club this way, but then deliver the handle forwards, that yeah. face wouldn't be so left. And what we can see here, if we look at your dynamic loss, I mean, it's 11.5 on a 10.5 driver. I'd be looking at that to be 16, 18, something around yeah, there. So. so you've really taken the loft off in an effort not to go left, which is what he's doing. Go and have one more go at it. You can do better than that. Right hand underneath. Club's going to twist on the way back, like you see people say, call it that closed. Yeah, much better. It's good. So what we got here, we've got a zero path and then the face, uh, no, sorry, your path is 3.8 into out, a little bit more into out. And then the face was almost square to that path, slightly close. Again, dynamic loft 5.9. Low tastic. Yes. So I'm going to hit two as well to have a go. And again, just to show you what this guy is doing. Um, he basically is doing what we're, or certainly what Steve's doing, and what I would do to hit the ball straight. He's doing what he needs to do to hit the ball straight. If I go and put the right hand under the club like he's doing, twist it the way he's doing, I'm not going to use my normal release or torques on the club to hit the ball because the face would point left. I'm actually going to take one of the torques out and put one of the others in more. So I'm going to actually handle drag more to keep the face from turning left. But you see what it's doing to your loft. So let me have a go. I've set it up there for you, so it'll be shot one. Uh, so it's got to go that way, isn't it? Bad. How's that one go? Path? Uh, very neutral. Yeah, felt straight. Face? Face was... Let's have a look here. 
Oop, these tees have broken the ground so warm. Not a lot. Face was pretty square, can you see it yeah, or not? It's pretty square, it's 1.3 to the left. Okay, yeah. So, okay. so pretty zero number. So yeah. I achieved my zero numbers. So what was my loft? Well, the, the ball went out of 5.9. Yeah, and what was the loft low. there? So the loft is this one here. So the loft was 9.4. Which is uh, well, if I hit, low. yeah. Well, if I hit one, how I would hit one. So where my hand is more on top, and the club is going to work more this way around my body, not turn so much down to the ground. So when I come to hit the ball, rather than having the handle drag, I can line everything up a little bit more, which is my neutral ways. If I just hit one and you show me what the numbers are, it's a very different flight, much higher. 18, 18 loft. Loft 18 degrees, fantastic. And path quite similar. Yeah, very neutral again. So you can see what's going on there. I'm swinging, same path, pretty much same face, much so I can control but I'm losing all the loft because of the fault I'm putting in at the beginning. Yeah. Same for you. Um, and then if I hit my neutral shot with my neutral grips and my right hand more on top of the club, I can start presenting some more loft. So again, for this guy, I would definitely watch some grip videos, thinking about trying to get his right hand in a different position and then thinking about a little bit more how the club face works around his body. But that isn't gonna fix it because if he changes the grip and how the face works on the backswing, but then still drags the handle through, I mean, I wouldn't want to live on the right-hand side of this range if he was seeing balls on it. Certainly, like we get lessons where people see, oh, I don't, I don't like that release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, you need it. Yeah, and absolutely. It's actually a good thing. Yeah. We talk about faults, but yeah. he's actually found a way to deliver the club and hit. Totally agree. So if he's happy to hit it low. Correct, keep doing what you're doing. If you're not, if you want a little bit more versatility in your game, which I would argue he would do, he would play a yes, bit better I if he could yes. move, he'd probably get more distance as well if he could launch it a bit better. Watch a few grip videos, think about where your right hand is, think about how this club is moving around your body and certainly thinking about a release down at the ball. So are you dragging the handle first or are you able to actually put a little bit of that wrist movement where it moves forwards to get the club to catch up a bit more with your body down at the bottom or more with your handle to get some loft delivered on it, yeah? Good stuff. Thanks, uh, Steve. I think I won then. Everything's a competition. Yeah, you won. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. I, can do, I, I can do the bad grip, no loft swing best. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sending the swing, and I hope that helps. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.